I call to order this meeting of the Plain Township Board of Trustees of Harrow Valley stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before us, we have our agenda. Are there any additions, deletions, or corrections by fellow board members or department heads at this time? I'm going to add under Sheriff Noise. Any other changes? The agenda will stand as amended. Um, first item is the Sheriff's report. We don't have anything from uh, the Sheriff's office, but what I wanted to add was just we, for the public record, we have received email communications from a Mona Scarlet and a Marilyn Halas complaining about a dirt bike that a neighbor is running law, lawfully as far as we, we, know, we know. We fielded a couple complaints on, on that property and there's nothing to be noted of being out of out of compliance or constituting a nuisance at this point in time the resident was um, for, for the public sake has has been diff, difficult confront, confrontational um, irate with the sheriff with the sheriff's office um, the sheriff's office the, through the deputies and escalating at the supervision have talked with the law director on the noise ordinance. Again, there is nothing that we can do. So I think outside of putting this on the record for these two individuals, as they, as they asked, I think for anybody that lives back in the Laurel Ridge area, because of the message where they inferred there were substantially a lot of, a lot of other people, but I know I, as a board member, have not received a single call or complaint, whether it's phone call, text message, email, or, or anything. Um, we've actually done additional patrols up, up there on a, on a regular basis. Um, but at the end of the day, any type of noise issue we, we have to catch in the act and what's being requested to tell these folks that you know pretty much have two little dirt mounds you can't even really consider the track. I think we've all seen it through pictures that have been captured and sent in dry in driving by. Um, it's an unjustified or an unsubstantiated claim at this at this point. So outside of the recommendation um, that was provided was provided of hey it's a private it's a private party matter if you want to involve your attorney as it relates to you know your your neighbor that's that's between them that's not that's not with us but I don't know if either of you have anything else to add. No the only information that we got initially was uh, a couple of emails that were sent to all of us yeah. and uh, they actually came to a meeting and we explained that both us and, and uh, the town of Ryan McCarver and uh, Else we can do. And from my understanding, from what reading, it's not being done at two in the morning. It's during daytime hours. So there's no, you know, curfew for the noise ordinance on that. And Lieutenant Carver had um, explained very well in detail to um, Mona exactly what he and his officers have done in respect to this situation. We appreciate all the help. All right. Yeah, no further comments. That would be cool. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Carver, as well, for your follow-up earlier today. That will conclude the Sheriff's report. Nothing are unfinished or new business. It will take us to the Fiscal Officer's report, Mr. Wolf. Thank you. Fiscal Officer number one is a request for resolution to authorize the payment of pending warrants in the amount of $563,621.34. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Haas? Yes. Mrs. Arliss? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Fiscal Officer number two is a request for resolution to authorize the payment of regular payroll in an amount not to exceed 
So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Hawes? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Fiscal officer number three is request for resolution to authorize payment for the following medical claims. I'll move on. Fiscal officer number three. I'll second. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Hawes? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Fiscal officer number four is the bank reconciliation for August. Fiscal officer number five is the investment report. Fiscal officer number six is a request for resolution to authorize the following transfers. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Hawes? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Fiscal officer number seven is a request for a new liquor license from Racket Up Arcade LLC doing business as Racket Up Arcade uh, located at 3208 Whipple Avenue Northwest, Canton, Ohio, 44718. Did, did we have any, any findings or any concerns with that area? Not from the Sheriff's Department, no. Uh, I would say go ahead and move, move it forward. No need to sit on it. Okay. And fiscal officer number eight is a request for resolution to authorize the following transfer of expenses to the coronavirus relief fund. I will so move. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Hawes? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. And that concludes the fiscal officer report. Thank you. It's going to take us to the administrator, Ms. Campbell. Thank you. Administrator number one, it does not require a resolution, just discussion and um, an okay from the board. I know as part of our mini master plan, um, we had talked about doing some off-site meetings. Station three is a great place for that. That's that area where it feels a little disconnected from the township. So I was proposing October 27th, and then just so we can get it on the books, February 23rd of 2021. June 22nd of 2021, and October 26th of 2021 at Station 3. And if that's okay, I'll get the press releases ready, we'll get the notifications out, and move forward that way. Again, I think these are evenly evenly timed out. I mean, to get three within a year or once every four, month, four months, it's not, it shouldn't be that much of an inconvenience. Our, you know, really our biggest element of change is, you know, Making sure we definitely have the video recorded since we don't have we won't have an audio recording device over there. But other than that, I mean, to take the show on the road, I think is a precursor to it. I mean, we'll clearly do what you've said on the press release, but we can pull the con if we can pull the contacts on the HOA list yes. that we have, and maybe even just a courtesy blast to them that way. Hopefully it'll it'll maybe turn somebody out. I mean, mm -hmm. hey, we're in, we're in your side of the town, town township. Yeah. If you want to meet with us, here here's the opportunity. Clearly, they can't at any point through you know making a call or showing up here or whatever it may be. But I know we've had a couple of those over the years. And, I mean, when Hall Fame Village was going in, clearly a packed house over there. But I think even the last one we were over there. Um, it was a smaller crowd, but it was still more than we would typically see here okay. on a regular basis. So, which one is three? Over by over by Hall Fame Village, back <coughs> in the Kiko, Kiko Auctioneers oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, then I will uh, move in that direction for those. Um, then item number two is a resolution to authorize payment to PCS Mobile for 24 Panasonic Tough Books in an amount not to exceed $44,376 to be paid from one of the COVID funds, that's fund 14A04B, to upgrade current equipment that will allow our deputies to complete all reports in their vehicles or at home due to the COVID pandemic. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mr. Hawes? Yes. 
Thank you. Item number three is a resolution of the Board of Trustees to uncover $60,000 for the COVID care business grants from Fund 14A08B to be used on a reimbursement basis for the township businesses for COVID related expenses. I will so move. The second discussion. Yes. Um, under discussion, I just want to point out it is a reimbursement because uh, Tom and I thought it would be best that we received receipts documentation in so we can double check it. We just didn't want to go, here's 5000 or here's whatever it is, because we're ultimately responsible. Um, I did speak with Greg Beck on a Zoom call today, and we did go over some of the uses for that. And pretty much it's, it's we're hitting restaurants and bars, because we know they're the highest, hottest, you know, they're taking the biggest hit here. Um, Tom Ferrara put together a list for us. And then um, Tom Wolf is going to, I don't know, we, we've got to get together and talk about will we draft a letter, are we going to try to do meetings. Um, we have met with a couple of businesses, we just haven't gotten any information back from them. So I think we're going to have to set a deadline, because uh, the last thing I want to do is be hanging on to funds if they're not being used or we could use somewhere else. I mean, honestly, a letter and a phone call hopefully should be able to knock most of that out so you're not wasting Time. Yeah, just, and Tom so. has offered to do those phone calls. As a CPA, he's better equipped to answer questions. We've sat through a couple of Zoom calls. He's he's better equipped to um, answer any te te technical questions. questions. Yeah, so thank you, Tom. Sure. And that's the end. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That was discussion. Roll call. Mr. Hawes? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. And that's the end of the administrator report. Thank you. It's going to take us to fire department chief. Okay. Thank you. Uh, item number one is resolution by Plain Challenge to Board of Trustees to authorize the reimbursement to Steve Ash amount of four hundred dollars for health care membership according to the collective bargaining agreement. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Haas. Yes. Mrs. Harless. Yes. Mr. Sabo. Yes. Uh, item number two is a resolution to authorize purchase and payment for one 40-foot gate for the secondary entrance to 1742 Schneider from South Bay Fence, not to exceed $3,000. So moved. A second. Discussion, just as a point of clarification, this is replacing the old twisted wood one that's yeah. there. So, Chuck, you were explaining earlier that it essentially allows you allows you, you know, your back way out should something impede, you know, front exit from the station or whatever. Correct. If we had maintenance being done or we had work out front, this gives us a, another way to get back out of the station. And for events, we can control that gate a little bit if we need to have it open and closed. Further discussion? Roll call. Mr. Haas? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. And that concludes fire department. Thank you. Road, Joe. Yes, Mr. Chairman, only one item tonight. That's a resolution authorized purchase and payment to Evan Supply for snow plow cutting edges and hardware, not to exceed $4,956 from Fund 4A5E Snow Equipment. I'll so move on. Road number one. Second. Discussion. Hopefully these won't be needed. Too. Yeah, we'll too warm too up. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Scott got to do his dance. <laughs> bring the, the warm weather so we don't have it. All right, no further discussion. We'll call Mr. Haas. Yeah. Mr. Sabo. Yes. Mrs. Harless. Yes. Thank you. Okay, it's going to take us to the zoning department. Tom. Thank, thank you, sir. Um, item number one is a resolution to declare items A through L as nuisance abatement. I will so move. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Haas? Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Carlos? Yes. And that's all for zoning. Thank you, Tom. It's going to take us parks. Change item number one is just an announcement. We got a call late Thursday evening of last week. Um, the Buffalo Cup has decided to cancel because they cannot comply with the COVID guidelines of keeping one game per day per team or even multiple games amongst the same teams in the same community. It just isn't feasible. So they are pushing back to 2021. They did email a request to secure the corresponding dates for next year. It's just a matter of the virus not allowing the activity. 
And item number two is a resolution um, for the Board of Trustees to approve and authorize purchase and payment to Pioneer Manufacturing Company for paint to be used for social distancing markings on all fields around the Diamond Sports Facility and amount not to exceed $5,000. Be taken from the COVID CARES Act Fund 14A 08B. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Mrs. Sarlis? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mr. Hawes? Yes. Ours, nothing our law director, nothing our communications. It takes us, of course, a meeting of public speech. Is there anybody in the audience that wishes to address the board? Seeing none, okay. Concerns of trustees? Concerns of the fiscal officer? No concerns. Takes us to the approval of minutes for September 8th, 2020, and I will so move. I'll second. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mr. Hawes? Yes. Mrs. Harlis? Yes. Okay, we do have a need for executive session, so I'll make a motion be it hereby resolved by the Clean Township Board of Trustees, Star County, Ohio, to adjourn the executive session at 6.16 p.m. from this regular meeting of the Clean Township Board of Trustees is authorized under Ohio Revised Code 121.22G for the purpose of the consideration of three conference with the law director or other retained counsel concerning pending or imminent court action. Seven, to consider confidential information related to marketing plans, specific business strategy, and on and on. And then 7A and 7B. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Haas? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. 